guys, this is Meghna from Asha24. And this is Victor. Hey Victor, so let's get started with the Pega tutorial. What exactly is Pega, Victor? Well, Pega BPM is a tool leading in building BPM, case management and real-time applications. Pega provides the platform and interfaces to business analysts and developers to design and build application using the Pega Visual Designer Studio. It's not just minimal coding by using the designer studio, but it also cuts down the development cost by 70%. That is some serious percentage. It's super exciting. Can we get to see how it works? Sure, let me jump into that. So as you can see, um, I'm in the Pega designer uh, studio right over here. Before we create uh, a sample application, let's first understand what really makes Pega stand out in the market. Why there is so much demand about Pega. Right, so uh, as you might know, there, there are a whole bunch of other uh, BPM providers in the market. Uh, just to name a few, I can say Oracle BPM, uh, there is uh, Informatica BPM, uh, there is Tipco BPM, uh, there is SAP also got a BPM. So like everybody has their own BPM tools, but what makes difficult for the companies, uh, they have only specific to the BPM, right? So, they, so if you want to integrate that BPM into a CRM, uh, you need to have another CRM application. So you need to, uh, if you want to integrate them to your AI or into a big data application. So all these like, applications are spread across different segments. So you need to interconnect. So when you interconnect each application BPM to CRM or to uh, let's say any AI or into any digital media, which is uh, like pretty much boom in the market, right? So it, it adds up a lot of cost to your enterprise so it burdens your IT so whereas if you come to Pega they have simplified into a one platform that's the designer studio so you can use this single unified platform to design a BPM CRM UI any point so I think uh, most of these points are uh, Meghna already highlighted so I'm not going to touch base those ones rather than we'll just get started with how you can create a sample application all right uh, so once you have logged in as you can see um, the, the I just logged in the screen before uh, while Meghna was giving an introduction where well, you might have you guys might have seen so once you have logged in I've logged in using the admin user I have installed a Pega a training edition on my system so it's on the running the local host so once you log in uh, you can provide your default admin credentials uh, then uh, bring up this uh, designer studio so you go to the Pega rules over here you can create a new application uh, over here as you can see uh, Pega application there are two different types of application one is enterprise application and the other one is uh, express application so you might be wondering so what are the difference between these two so well enterprise is when you are talking about a bigger enterprise something is deployed on your production in moment all right so enterprise uh, can be uh, spread across several uh, segments so it can connect to your CRM it can connect to your BPM it can connect to any of your finance it can connect to uh, your sales data it can connect to your warehouse so it really depends uh, like we're talking about a full-scale uh, pr production ready environment whereas express application is uh, you have some concepts that you want to test it out or you want to run a POC for an example I would say uh, you have in mind that you want to create an order management system uh, where uh, a customer places the order uh, it gets shipped uh, via the air shipment and get delivered to a customer right so you want to change the air shipment to sea shipment or any other mode of shipment right so in that case you go for the uh, go for an express application you test out your ideas on your test in moment once you are happy with that then you move to your enterprise application right so i hope that gives a clear picture about enterprise application and an and an express application so as of now uh, as we're going to create ex enterprise application let's get uh, started with the enterprise application you can choose this one uh, then click on the create new application over here you need to define your application name so I'm gonna uh, give Pega uh, as we are learning a tutorial series I will say learning tutorial series all right so description it takes up automatically but you can give the description based on your based on a business need or a business objective right you can give so like on testing i'm not giving more description but yeah still i'll just for your reference i'm gonna um, add a few more details pega learning tutorial series this will help to create a sample application all right so the more description you give, like whenever you are connecting this application to uh, any of the other application, that really helps them to understand what this means. I mean, like what this application is about. So that's the industry best practice. I would say, like 
you put this a habit that when you are creating any new application using Pega, make sure you highlight, like put down all the details. All right. So over here you can see built-in application. So I'm just gonna using Pega rules, but you can use Pega DM or Pega app. This is the personal edition. So you can define uh, the uh, new application types and you can uh, create those ones as well. So I'm gonna use the default Pega rules as of now. Then we have called the application structure. So over here, three different types of application structure. One is implementation only. So uh, we are just doing only the implementation. But if you are want to use this application as a framework to so that it can be referred uh, from other applications, that's when you use the framework only. And if you want to use framework and implementation in both ways, that's when you choose the framework and implementation. All right. So as of now, I'm not use the gonna framework one because it's more of an advanced topic so we just cover all the basic ones implementation only over here you can uh, enter the organization so i'm just gonna say uh, pega tutorial pega learning tutorial uh, so you can need to provide a unique name just to make sure uh, pega learning tutorial all right uh, so over here you can define uh, the advanced settings so in the words in the advanced setting is is like what are the the configurations what are your application version for an example you have already created uh, one application using 0101.01 so if you want to change it to 0102.02 all right so that's when you configure the advanced level so over here you can define the project methodology which is pretty cool uh what is scrum pega bpm as you can see it's 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 a matter of click you can just use uh, at a very convenient way all right so i'm just going to use the default ones so pega learning tutorial then click on next over here, as you can see, you need to add the business objective. So you might be wondering, so what is business objective? Well, let's take me an example of a credit card application. All right. So a, a bank wants to uh, monitor like how many credit card applications uh, they want, uh, how many new credit card applications came in that month. Okay. So they will add uh, the business objective one. So a credit card application. All right. So then they want to add one more, I would say like they want to track how many credit card application has been approved more than 10 k limit so they would say cc application are more than 10 k limit okay so similarly based on your business objective you can add n number of uh, business objectives over here right so it depends uh, like what you want to achieve so you need to uh, be pretty clear about your application so that's why it's always suggested like get your idea clear from the very beginning of, uh, of when you start creating pega applications so involve your business team to get a like a complete idea then you can st uh, start implementing your application so that it really helps you to like put the groundworks uh, at a very uh, like a very stronger level so that when you uh, move ahead when you make some changes to your application you have complete idea where you can make the changes so that makes really easy uh, to play around with the application level okay so uh, as of now as we are doing the pega tutorial learning series i'm just going to use the same one pega tutorial learning tutorial series all right uh, then click on next uh, over here you can see the data types so you might be wondering what are data types again so again data types can be uh, classified into several areas so as i said uh, if you are taking an order management uh, for an order management it can be order uh, for you it looks like for a customer an order just looks like okay, somebody ordered something and uh, it's get delivered right whereas uh, if you look from a business point of view uh, when somebody orders something uh, that first goes to a business transaction right so it, uh, either if you have chosen to pay through PayPal or any of the internet gateway so it goes to the internet gateway if you get a success message then it gives a thank you that thanks for ordering your orders being dispatched right so that's an order management system right so then the next process comes into uh, like also it can continue with the order management system again so that's like payment part is done then you start your order delivery process right so once your order uh, gets delivered to your address so you might not be available at the time so uh, what it needs is like it needs a customer follow-up so so it triggers a crm which is again um a, it's it's a crm like customer relationship management so it triggers another event where it sends a follow-up email or might be follow-up call to the customer that you are not available can we arrange for re-delivery right so these are all our business process so when bigger or larger enterprises you know when they want to uh, put together all these process into a single unified platform they define all these cases right so so as you can see over here you can describe your data types based on based on a requirement so that makes more easier for the other applications to interconnect right so it, it gives them like more meaningful information so 
So as of now, I'm, as we are using a sample tutorial series, I'm just gonna put the same details, uh, Pega learning tutorial. So description automatically takes uh, learning tutorial, I'll just put series, all right. Uh, then I'm gonna click on next. Uh, so over here, you need to uh, define uh, the data types. Uh, so like data types, as I uh, highlighted before, it's pretty much similar like uh, what what are your uh, business objectives based on that uh, you define your data types as of now as I'm doing a uh, Pega learning tutorial so if my objective is how to how to uh, uh, give a tutorial about Pega so that's my like uh, th that's my type right whereas if you choose uh, for a order management so it will be like how a order is being delivered so it can be one can be delivery type uh, and another one can be you know, payment gateway type so uh, another one can be uh, customer survey. So once the order is getting delivered, uh, is the customer happy with the product? Or it can be uh, customer found that the customer is uh, received the order is a damaged good. So is that good enough or or uh, it needs to be returned or any refunded? So all these uh, data types can be defined over here. So the other downstream applications or any in interconnecting applications can pull the data out from here and make use of it all right so that's i would say like we're pretty much done with all the information uh we need to create a sample application then we just need to hit create that will create the application uh behind the scene so it takes a while to uh create all the applications because uh pega uh what it does is like uh, you don't have to do anything coding right as you can see everything the designer studio does it for you so behind the scene it generates all the all the codes and the necessary roles required for it all right so as you can see over here uh, there are uh, like it, uh, it created uh, really nice quickly uh, but if you're running on your managed cloud or any on any, a any cloud on-prem cloud the machine has a lot of computing power it gets uh, in real quick manner so as you can see we have like four different uh, four different uh, users created for this one so what I'm gonna do is uh, 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 copy uh, you need to ensure that you copy all these details so that you can use this uh, use this login credentials to uh, log in and see how uh, these are being used so as of now i'm just going to copy the admin one but you can uh, save all the details all right so as you can see over here there is a default password uh, is the rules so i'm going to log off from this user so that i can log back in uh, using the admin uh, learning tutorial so the password is rules log back in you can save it if you want uh, as you can see there you go so you have just created another application as a learning tutorial series as a Pega learning tutorial over here the Pega learning tutorial series right so as you can see over here you have the requirements specification releases iterations assumptions so they've got a whole bunch of uh, details which you can uh, put together also like a bit of an advanced topic which we'll be covering on our uh, next uh, learning series hand over uh, to Meghna to um, uh, give it um, uh, end of this tutorial and I hope uh, you guys have liked the video and you have learned how to create a sample uh, Pega application using the Pega Designer Studio. Bravo Victor! That was a sack load of information that I could actually follow. Now I gotta get a Peganese and Yoda Pega together. My dear audience, share your views on Pega. I would really love to hear from you. Do leave a comment below and subscribe if you like.